welcome to another indie solo adventure. We're on Victoria Falls Road this morning, not far out of Mount Victoria in the Blue Mountains National Park. We're on our way out to a hiking trail which will take us into the Upper Gross Valley where we'll be looking for an historic coal mine known as the Asgard Mine. It's pretty much forgotten now. But the mine is believed to have been excavated sometime around 1860 to 1920 by prospectors looking for coal and shale in the Blue Mountains. Hello Indy Solo here, if you can hear me, it's pretty windy, we're up in the Gross Valley at uh, near Mount Victoria and uh, this morning it's about 9.30, uh, we're going to be doing the track to the Asgard Mine. The Asgard Mine was probably prospected in the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s uh, in an attempt to find uh, coking coal in the Gross Valley. They've actually erected a mine down there um, and a kiln. But unfortunately no coking coal was discovered so the uh, it was abandoned before it even became useful so uh, we're going to attempt uh, to search for the Asgard mine. Um, apparently the mine is still accessible and they also built a kiln here as well so that's what we're going to go and do and have a look today and see if it, we can still get there. It's only a short walk only 2.4 kilometres so we'll see how we go. So this mine was uh, first prospected back in the late 1800s, early 1900s possibly. There's not a lot of history on the area. It's called the Asgard Mine. Apparently the prospectors were a fan of North mythology. Apparently it's not real well known. There's a major walk down here. Um, and uh, I think it's only just recently been signposted so not a lot of people have gotten down here in the past and as a matter of fact we only knew about it from a uh, another youtuber Australian Yowie who did a trip down here recently coming down looks like towards heading down towards the swamp now Somebody's been nice enough to lay some railway slippers across there. Just noticed a bit of a change in the terrain we're walking through. We've just come through a quite a marshy area. Now we've come out into these eucalyptus trees. These are the ones that koalas love. I don't smell any koalas. Mm -hmm. Well, you can smell them. Just coming through, just occasionally peering up to the tops of these blue gums or ghost gums, whichever they are, just in case there might be a random koala. I haven't seen one. Coming up on our first uh, signpost. I think off to the left takes us to the uh, Asgard Mine. It's only about 400 metres, not far. Looking over there towards the Grass Valley. Let's keep going. 
So as you can see, it's quite steep coming down here. Um, they've um, constructed a lot of steps for the path, the trail, heading down, which is good. Hard to imagine them back in the late 1800s, bringing a whole lot of um, excavating equipment and uh, tools and bricks. Very wet, had some rain last night. It's looking out over the valley. So as we come down here, we've just reached the entrance of the mine, the Asgard mine. You can see there, they're no, wow. completely as is from uh, the late 1890s, built into the base of the cliff. It's very wet, it goes way back there. Flashlight, which is probably stronger than I thought anyway. I'm going to have a look. Let's go. 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 Um, a bit of moisture seeping through the roof. Give that echo. Mmm. Oh, that's freaky. Hear that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I hope you don't encounter a pot <laughs> Okay, I've just about lost you. You lost me? I'm here. Yeah, I can see you, like that. Yeah. This is the end of it right here. Is that? Yeah. It narrows up here at the top. I don't think you can see anything on the, on the screen. That's Steve right up the end, not too far. No, I've completely lost him. This is how far I'm from the entrance. It's not that far. It doesn't go too far in. It's very clean in here. Yeah. I can just see you at the entrance. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Mark's gone right up to the back of the mine. Oh! Must be a bit of ironstone in here as well. That echo. Enough for me. <laughs> well, it's quite they dug it um, high enough, it's not as though I'm crouching. Yeah. I'm just under six foot and I'm standing up straight. Probably just touching the roof with my hairline. Mine. <laughs> okay, so that's our look at the mine. So let's head around to the kiln, which is a bit further around this way, I believe. Across this little waterfall.
Because you don't have to walk across that log to get back. Looks like we're coming up on the kiln. So here we are at the kiln. And it's just amazing that they brought all these sandstone blocks and bricks down here to construct all this and put it all together. Let's have a look inside the kiln. And it uh, hasn't never been used apparently. Never been fired up because the coal that they discovered was unsuitable. Anyway, would have been a major bit of a letdown. Mm. Just sitting right at the base of this cliff. How they got this stuff down here to excavate all this and put it together is beyond me. I can't even imagine it happening now. Yeah, just a whole wall of sandstone locks. There's another trail leading up there. We might just wander up there and see if there's anything else. Who knows what's they constructed further along the edge of this cliff. Yeah, this uh, trail's a bit overgrown, I don't think. Anything up here? It's like a surveyor's mark on the on the rock. Surveyor's mark. Yeah, you know how they dig those little triangles, and I don't know what they are. It's like they just dig those little triangles. So the the cliff just there, it's been sheared off. Yeah. Yeah. So that there's three little triangles been engraved in the oh, face yeah, of yeah, it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's I'm sure surveyors use them. Oh really? Yeah. And there's something down there. I mean, there for all I know, there could be another mine down there. <laughs> there's a lot of coal here on the ground. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not going down there to find out. So that down there, as you can see, that's the uh, entrance to the Asgard mine, uh, which was constructed here in the, around about the late 1890s, early 1900s. Not a lot of history on the place. Uh, they tend to define coal coking coal down here. Apparently it was unsuitable. So, um, reportedly the whole exercise was in vain. And they also, they also built a little kiln further on around the base of the cliff, which never got fired up because the coal was unsuitable. So yeah, it's just amazing that all this took place um, back in the late 1800s. So there's the gate, we've made it back, probably took us about just under three hours to make it down to the mine and um, through the swamp and back. Yeah it was pretty good actually, um, how they found the shale down there and how they built that mine was pretty amazing and the kiln as well. Um, it says it's 2.4 k's to the mine. I'm disputing that because it's been an eight kilometer round trip. So it's a good, it's it's good. It's all obviously uphill coming back up, but it was a really good little hike, and I would highly recommend anybody coming up to Victor about Victoria, come out to Victoria Falls Road and do this one. Um, the weather's turning a little bit, so might be time for a hot drink and. See what we're going to do for the rest of the day.